Greetings all, it's Blue Knight, and welcome back to Paper Mario. Previously, we went through the remaining section of Cooper Bros Fortress and rescued our very first star spirit, who happens to be Eldstar, the Elder of Starhaven. He's respected by all others, and by virtue, we learned some new skills to use in battle, particularly Refresh, which helps us recover recover 5 HP and FP as well as cure some status ailments. So now we have even more to work with whenever we are in fights. And furthermore, we return back to Koopa Village to do a few side things before we dive into the next chapter of our adventure. More specifically today, we have to do some more favors, favors by Koopa Goot, which is what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, yeah, Koot, let's just see what you got store for us this time around. It ain't gonna be just two this time, I can tell you that. Now we just ask for favors. I was supposed to go to Koopa Village and find Koopa. Oh, so we're doing this already, alright? Sure. You still have to take my little while well back. Could you get it for me? I really want it. If you say the tape, he'll know what you're talking about. Try to keep this whole thing under wraps, would you? You promise, young fella? Well, it's not like anyone else is going to be enamored by this tape anyways. So while we're at it, we'll just pick up- Ooh, hello! I did not expect to see you around, mister. Alright, so this guy, he's a bit of a special character. Actually, let's get Gubario out here so he can inform us on who this guy is a little bit more. He's Chuck Quizmo. He tries to quiz anybody who speaks to him. He pops in various towns and villages, but that doesn't mean he's easy to find. What do you think his deal is? Personally, I'm a little more interested in his assistant. She's cute. So we talked to Chuck Quizmo. Cow is! Chuck Quizmo's the name, and quizzes are my game. You want quizzes? I got them. If you can manage to answer my brain busting questions correctly, then. Yeah, yeah, yahoo! I'll give you a star piece! Wanna try a quiz? So, like I said, this guy is very, very special. If you can answer a question of his correctly, we'll get a free star piece. Question. What's the name of Kubaro's younger sister? So, some of these are gonna be easy, others are not gonna be not so easy if you haven't been paying too much attention to the game. The good thing is though, you don't have a time limit to worry about, so you can spend as much as you want pondering over what the answer is. Or you can just look up the answers online and get it that way. I mean, we live in an age where information is at our fingertips, so feel free to do that. Congratulations! By the way, the assistant next to him is the toad over there. That's Manatee. Get it? Manatee? Manatee? That's the assistant that Gubario was talking about, that she is pretty cute. Cute for a toad, I'll say that. Answer one question so far, good luck next time. Well, well, so long, farewell, till we meet again. And he disappears. So Chuck Quispo appears randomly in various locations throughout the game. I think he may appear just about everywhere, I'm not sure about that. In most locations he will though. Like I said, it's completely random. If you want to... Make sure that he appears like more often. Then you can go in and out between two screens uh, and give to spawn that way. It can take a little while though, since like I said, RG is kind of his thing for appearing. Uh, and uh, every time you do answer a question of his, you will get a star piece. Uh, I think you can get about 64 star pieces from him. You may think it might be easy. No, it's not. It will take a long time for you to get all of his questions. That's one thing I'm not going out of my way for in this series. It would just take way, way too long. And honestly, there's a lot more star pieces star pieces out in the world that we can't collect. Rather than wait to run a Chuck Quizmo to get more star pieces from him. And by the time we do get all the stuff that we need in terms of star pieces, then... He won't be that much of a use to us anymore. Is will be mainly just for bragging rights if we do come across him. By the time we get all the stuff we can collect as far as star pieces star pieces are concerned. Figured the least I could do is help him either the score Bowser, King of the Koopas. 
Good luck, Bobette. You Bobas will all be wish you luck. Bob's away! Oh, pff. Well, don't blow up in front of me. I mean, Bobette might be happy about it, but I'm not. After all, I'm not impervious to explosions. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you! Way to beat the Cooper Bros! Now we can all live in this village in peace and harmony. Freedom is glorious! I feel so very happy. Surrounded of my friends! We salute you, Bob! Oh god, that was triple explosions! Man, Mario's not gonna be in any shape to continue if this keeps up. At least it's not being impervious, or not impervious, he's not being uh, affected by it at all. Decided to stay here with my friends for a while, it's a nice place. Let's see what this guy has to say. Remember Cooper used to always talk about traveling the world as an explorer? Go at Mario, it's a great chance to travel, isn't it? Make us proud, Cooper. By the way, I heard a rumor that Princess Peach kidnapped, kidnapped recently. That's nothing new. She gets kidnapped like every other week, basically. Wait, what do you say about uh, Peach? How many times has she been kidnapped in her life anyway? Apparently that guy was reading my mind. I'll check these bushes here for a second. Not nothing new. That doesn't matter. Now to this guy who welcomed us here, this is Yukuma Village again. I never left. Actually, I did leave for a while. It's just going great, thank you for asking. So, we're on our way back to Kuba Village. There's these three blocks. There's actually a particular way that you can't hit them to get a little something special. If I do that, you hit left, right, right, and then middle. There we go! I was trying to do that before, but I hit the wrong order. Because I want to get this thing, our second effects badge. So let's go to our badges and see what sound will that produce. With that. And the answer is a slide whistle. <laughs> That's a little more comical than the last sound effect we got. I might keep it on for just a little bit, not too long, because that will get grading sooner much rather than later. Anyways, on to Gooba Village. On our way back to the village, I want to show off a couple of things. First off will be this fright jar. It's something that I don't use very often. Oh, I got a refund out of it. Nice. <laughs> It's something I don't use very often because of this. You can scare enemies away any of the battle immediately, but you won't get any experience if you do that. So I tend to avoid using that item a little more often than you would think. You think it would be helpful? It's really not. It's kind of a catch-22, actually. And our second item, I just got this. This always responds not respawns, not respawns, respawns back up behind the fence that we passed by on our way to Koopa Village is the Sleepy Sheep. We did get this item that was needed to uh, head over to Koopa Koot, ironically enough, since we're running a favor for him. And by doing that, you can put enemies to sleep. There's actually something a little special when it comes to uh, using power-ups like... Uh, the Fright Jar and the uh, Sleepy Sheep. Well, not power ups, they're more like items. Depending on what enemy you encounter, they will have a, a different rate for every status that you can use. So, like for Spiky Goobas, they will have a higher rate to fall asleep or be feared by certain items than other enemies you will find out in the game. So that's something you should keep in mind. All the stuff that you want to see which enemies are affected by which stats ailments, it is up online for you to discover. And it might help you like strategize what you can bring to the table depending on what location you're in. I also want to show off just how useful the power belts can be because I didn't do a good job when we were back in the fortress, admittedly so. That's how useful it could be. If you could tie the A button correctly, then you could get more than just two points of damage on a regular foe like you would with a regular power jump. I felt really bad not to able to execute that in the debut that we're using the the power bounce badge, but I was able to show it here since we do have an enemy that is like a lot stronger that has more than two health points. So I want to show that off very quickly, too.
Hold it right there, Mario. I've been waiting for you. Oh, great. <laughs> it's him again. I told you I'd be back. Now, get my revenge. Here it comes, baby. Check this out. Whoa! Oh, no. Oh, good job, Junior Trooper. <laughs> good job. Mario, I'm talking to you. I promised you this fight will be much different than before. Hey, you're a junior trooper. Are you following us? You need to mellow out. Shut up! You, Mario. Of course you remember me, right? Were you good? What? Darn it, you don't remember me? Listen, you, you big lug. My name is Junior Trooper. Remember it and tremble. After this beating, you'll definitely remember it. Well, I didn't expect to find Junior Trooper again. <laughs> Get ready to hurt, Mario. I'm going to show you a new skill I just picked up. And it's that he can hide a shell. Yeah, check that out. You've never seen anything like that before, have you? Your attacks are useless now. Are they? Good boy, yo, fill us in. Let's see what we have to go up against this time around. What was his name? Junior Troopa? I don't remember exactly. <laughs> Just joking, kid. Max HP 2, attack... No, not 2. <laughs> I wish it was 2. 15, attack power 2, defense 1. At least Kubar's being nice. <laughs> he looks so adorable hiding his egg, doesn't he? So cute. It should be a snap to beat him now. I think. Well, he is a lot stronger than before. But well, let's find out if we can actually damage him. Hmm, actually not. And I forgot we had that effects badge up uh, equipped as well. He still has a uh, power hop. I think that the main difference is that he can hide a shell this time. So what can I do to break him out of his shell? Let's try hammering it this time. I don't really remember this fight because it's such an early game fight and it's really not that uh, difficult, like I just demonstrated. Who knew that Mar has such battle skills? Yeah, it's not over yet though. Yeah! <laughs> wow, what a power yell. Just to hide back in his shell again. Alright, we're gonna need someone stronger to bring to this fight this time. We'll have a get with Mario. And then... Uh, Switch out to a different partner. I'm pretty sure Bob Bet's going to be very helpful for us. She is a power player after all, as we saw back in Cooper Mill's Fortress. So she will be advantageous for us to use in this fight. Just out of curiosity's sake. Yeah, I thought so. Bison will affect uh, Junior Troopa's health. So this could be pretty much of a slog battle, unless I want to use Bob. Which I think I will do. Switch over to Bob. And... Oh, three points. Not bad. They go for the full four, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, I think I'll use that when I'm in even more peril. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste uh, my star focus on that yet. My star focus on uh, refresh. <laughs> That's what it is. Star Spirit's power, that's what it is. Star Spirit's skills. Let's keep powering him. Like I said, not much of a hard fight to go through. It's just extra fists you gotta worry about. And we'll just bob again. This will go for the full four. Much better. And one more power hop. And that's gonna do it for Junior Trooper this fight. He did will will tell my health a little bit. I'll give him that. However, it was not enough for him to overcome our mighty might. <laughs> At least we get a lot more star points out of it, as per usual. I'm bringing us up to 72 now. <laughs> That's pretty much all he says. But if you hit it though, <laughs> you'll still see the same thing, but really, just the fact that Mark can hit this kid while he's Dizzy like this. It's so mean of him. As a matter of fact, I think you could tattle him with Gubario as well since, since he's out in the field. So you trip out, use the Buddhist out of the forest, you come a village. He thinks he's pretty tough. 
As far as I can tell, he goes around picking fights with people who are stronger than he is. Talk about dumb. His hobbies are working out and order stuff by mail. Oh. Looks like everyone needs a hobby to pass the time. Still though, the fact that you can do this, that's really mean of Mario. I'm not sure you can jump on him though. Oh, you can! Just gotta dish yourself a little bit. That's really funny that you could do that. What a nice touch. Also a pretty mean touch as well, but still nice all the same. However, if you do leave the screen and come back, well, he doesn't transform into that. Oh, and the lucky thing just went off. That's uh, the effect of the close call match coming into play. If you're in danger state, then that will go off. That's pretty neat. Oh, it's Twink! <laughs> wow, what a loud voice code for that little fella. Mario, Mario, speed Twink, remember me? Of course I do. I heard you saved the Audible Star Spirit, who was captured by the Koopa Bros. Bowser and his gang are so angry about it. I knew you could do it, Mario. You're on your way. <laughs> well, there's nothing to it, really. Well, enough celebration for now. I come bearing important information for you. It seems that one of the Star Spirits is being held captive somewhere in Dry Dry Desert. Bowser wrote in his diary, someplace called Dry Dry Ruins. The princess braved the dangers of the castle and get you this clue, Mario. If you find out anything else, I'll hurry back to tell you. I have to go back to her highness now. She's so brave. I hope this news helps. He make it sound like Peach went on an epic quest inside the castle. Really, all she did was just find a hidden passage. It was helpful though, nonetheless, still. But really, Tweak, you gotta not blow things out of proportion like that. Because Mario will actually give credit to Peach for once. I don't think he's ever done that. <laughs> that your body's more refreshed, travels will be much easier. Might as well do that after we went through a harsh battle with Junior Troopa, after he just disappeared. So we're back in Toadtown, we can do stuff in Toadtown as well. But we're on our way back to Goomba Village, and we begin stopped by a lot of things along the way. Because I want to show some stuff off. Anyways, this time we are going to Goomba Village for real now. I'll explore more of the town afterwards. We have bits to take care of first for that old coot, of course. Now we're back to Goomba Village. Home sweet home for Goombario. Adam Mario, how you doing? Get to meet this uh, little Goomba family again. Be a boss of bad guys? You bet we have been. Oh, for God's sake, Mario. It's my Goombario bothering you. He can be a real handful sometimes, so why worry? Ugh, Bob, come on, cut it out. Well, some things haven't changed, that's for sure. So, since we're back here at Goomba Village, we have to go to Goopa, who is inside the house over here. Probably well, he has that by now, he's feeling very refreshed. The Goomba first. I have a bad, bad feeling about bones these days. Evil things are afoot, I think. I wish that everyone could just live together in peace. Aww. Well, world peace is nothing but a myth, that's what I've learned. It's the sad uh, realization to come to, but it's the truth. Keep it cool, keep your wits about you, and you'll be Bowser hands down. Actually, I want to talk to you about something. This thing something's on your mind. What? Koopa Koo said he wants the tape back. That old Koopa, he does remember things from so long ago? Well, how does he remember things from so long ago? <laughs> okay, wait for a minute, I'll bring it out for you. Apparently me and words are just not working well today. That's kind of like a common thing, but more so than usual. Here, this is it. When you see that little Koopa, give him our regards. And we got the tape back. I wonder what's on it. What's that? Well, I know it's on the tape. Man, I'm just like in sync with these characters today. What is up with that? I feel like I have somewhat of a mind reading ability right now. Can't, forget, can't, can't tell you the moment. It was great though. You know, give it that uh, magazine that we got from Colorado's wife some time ago for Koopa Koo. It might contain some nasty things. Now, I'm not going to be judging Koopa Koop for his habits, but I'm just saying. The way that he likes to have things that are of a <clears throat> higher rated material, let's say. it's uh, It kind of puts things into perspective of what that Koop does on his off time. So I decided that we're going to be hanging around Toad Town for a little bit as long as we're here. Might as well take the time to just uh, look around and see what's going on. 
After all, the longer I keep that coot waiting, the more annoyed he'll get. At least, I hope he does. <laughs> he really will, but I just like to think that. So we're gonna hang around until down for a little bit before we head back to Koopa Bro to see what's all the hubbub about here. Now that we have vanquished the Koopa Bros. I really didn't get a lot of time to talk about the Koopa Bros themselves. They really are like a fun ragtag bunch to to go up against. The plus their battle music when they're out of the Trojan Bowser was really, really catchy when I went back to uh listen to it back in editing. So I didn't really pay much attention to the first time around when I was playing this game. All in all, the Cooper Bros themselves, they are a very memorable bunch of antagonists that you do get to come across on your adventure as like the first big evil force, quote unquote, that you have to go through to save one of the star spirits. It's not gonna be because you crave knowledge that only my intellect can provide? Then how about this? So it is told that far away, at the very top of the sky, there exists a star haven with stars being their home. We know about that place already. In Star Haven, there's a tree called the Star Rod. Said to be stars particularly strong and hearted. Star spirits. He's just telling us stuff we already know right now. Even if Mario himself doesn't know, we the player do know about this because of the intro. And what we saw from there. Before we could actually boot up the game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he can't tell you his actual useful stuff if you go back to the various points in the game. But nothing useful right now. Speaking of going back to places, let's go back to Mario's house too to see if we got anything in his personal mailbox. And we can also see what Luigi's up to as well from time to time if we come back to Mario's house in between chapters. Gotta do it like doing that. Hi Mario, I figured I'll have an adventure sooner or later, so I'm dating. So why am I sitting on a rock? I'm not sure what kind of trailer that would constitute, but hey, whatever floats your boat. What's that? Did I die in the desert? Oh sure, that's a train that goes down the toad down. Hey, maybe I'll take along. Oh please, I would love to have that happen. Come on, Mario, don't give it like the silent treatment. I know that's your thing at all, but that's your brother. It would be awesome to have him along. Uh, maybe one day we'll have a paper Luigi sometime in the future. If that'll happen, I'll be very, very happy. I'm not like knocking this game at all. This game is great though, but come on. Imagine Paper Luigi. I wish we got that during the time when your Luigi was a thing. Imagine how cool that would have been. Though I'm pretty sure Dream Team was a good game in itself, I just haven't played it yet. So, as expected, we do have some letters in Marl's personal mailbox. And we'll read them off one at a time. First from Little T. How do you do? I'm Little T. I'm just a little toad. I live in Toad Town. I've been trying to get the dojo so I can see Princess Peach. I'll write to you again later. Bye. I'm pretty sure that was one of the toads we did talk to that was near the, uh... Near the dojo. Anyways, we got one from Betty too. The assistant to Chuck Quispel we saw earlier. Hello Mario, I'm Betty. Chuck Quispel's lovely assistant. Thanks for participating in our quiz show. Our rays are through the roof. What after what appears by me? Man, Mario must have some serious star power. Part of the pun. If rays were like to blast that quickly. Please keep coming back until you answer the last question. I'll cheer you on from Vanity. It's very nice of her to send a letter that quickly to us. Fun fact about Vanity, she's actually shares the same name as another character we've seen in the Mario Versa that we know of. That's Toadette. They happen to share the same name in Japanese, which is, I hope I pronounced this right, Kino Pico. Just a little tip that I wanted to come across when I was doing some research. And what about the Koopa Bros as well, speaking of these letters? You rat, Mario! How dare you embarrass us! I'll never forget what you did! Red. Hey, watch your back while you walk at night! Black. I'm gonna make you cry, Green. You better sleep with one eye open, pal! Yellow. We shall return, the Koopa Bros. They have a really cool uh, pose going on though, I'll give him that. That's all we can get here for now. Like I said, you can come back to Mario's house in between chapters to see what's going on with Luigi and check out the personal letters that Mario gets in his own stash box. We'll check over at the post office over here. And I think we might call it quits for today because this view is kind of going on a little longer than I expected it to be. Very honest with you right now. Very, very honest. Ah, yes, Mario. Yes, hello. Well, see that you have received some mail, as I expected. Oh, for Cooper, though. 
by Colorado's wife. See what it says. Cooper, how are you doing? Your mother dropped by for a visit the other day. We had a really nice talk over some Koopa tea. She did seem a touch disappointed that you were still on the road. She said that she's going to, to cook a delicious dinner when you have to come back, so you have something to look forward to. Oh yes, if you happen to see my wayward husband, please tell him to come over often. <laughs> Take care, Colorado's wife. <laughs> this Colorado guy seems to be not that good of a husband, we'll say that much. <laughs> And like I said, I think that's all we'll do for today. We will explore more of Toad Town, even though we do have favors to run for Koopa Koop, but I really don't like Koopa Koop, so I'm going to make it wait for this tape as long as possible. So next time, we're going to explore more of Toad Town uh, post uh, Koopa Bros Fortress, and uh, if we have enough time, I guess we will go back to Koopa Village to hand over that tape to the Koot. I mean, we gotta get rid of it at some point, right? It's not going to be that useful to us, after all, unless we could check on somebody. But I'm pretty sure we can't do that. Until we meet again. Farewell for now.